All right, Richard, I know that uh, it's not the best light down here, but this is a, a preform that I have from that big piece of um, Georgetown that you sent me. Boy, do I love Georgetown. I tried to keep it a little bit wider, uh, but as usual with Georgetown, I ran into some stacks that I needed to get out, and I um, had to really force myself to stop at the percussion. I could have just kept going and going and going, but I really want to use this piece to... Uh, thin out with indirect percussion because it'll just it'll end up better so I, I forced myself to stop don't know if this is going to be a knife blade or a spear point I'm kind of leaning towards a spear point um, but I just don't know yet so we'll see but it's a good preform I also got some knife or I'm sorry some um, point flakes out of there so there'll be a few few points come out of there Kind of a funny angle, but they're a little bit better than they look. And of course, the debitage. But all things considered, I'm pretty happy. Little stack right there. Little step. Not a stack, but a step. Actually, that's a little hinge. Yeah, that's a little hinge. But maybe I can blow that off from the other side. That's why I, I tried not to clean this up too much. I wanted to take out a couple of these little boogers here and there. Like right here. I really wanted to take that ridge. To take off that high spot. But look how close the platform is to the edge. Right there. Right there. By the time I brought that down and started it up. Um, you know, in order to hit it with even my smallest bopper. I need a little... I probably would lose a little bit of width. So I thought I'd tackle that with the indirect... Because, I mean, sometimes with indirect, it seems like you don't lose anything at all. All right. Thanks. This was fun to work.